Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG, and we have finished the Unfinity spoilers. Um, and honestly, I'm not impressed. Just saying. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. We got a buttload left to go through, so we're going to run through them real quick. So if you see something you like, pause the video. Don't forget to subscribe. So we're going to start off with the Aerial Elephant. God, what a name. White and three for a three, two, flying, enters the bathroom, you get a token, or you get a ticket, and you can put a sticker on something. Eh. Next, we have the blank bird gets the worm, two white and three for a two, four, flyer, enters the battlefield, you get a name sticker, gain life, equal the number of unique vowels on the sticker. Eh. Next, we have clowning around, white and one, create two, one, one, clown, robot tokens, roll a six-sided dice, if the result is equal to or less than the number of robots you control, uh, create a 1-1 one, one white clown, uh, so you may get three if you're lucky, but it's a sorcery. This actually seems pretty good. Gobsmacked. Uh, white and one, enchant, not only permanent. Uh, choose a person outside the game as long as you can see the chosen person from your seat. Enchanted permanent can't attack, block, or activate abilities. Okay, weird. Pacifism. Jetpack janitor, white and two for a three, two. Oh, slow down there, horsey. I know I'm in a hurry, but... Uh, it has alpha strike, uh, it has first strike as long as it's blocking or being blocked by a creature that comes after it alphabetically. Okay, whatever. Uh, next we have impounding lot bot, uh, white three for a three four, enters the battlefield you may say incarcerate in robot voice. If you do, exile another target artifact or enchantment until the bot leaves the battlefield. That's actually pretty good for a common. Next we have a good day to pie. White and one, tap to, uh, tap up to two target creatures. Whenever you put a name sticker on a creature, whenever you put a name sticker on a creature, you may return a good day to pie from your graveyard to your hand. That's actually pretty good for a common since you get to, you know, pick it back up and stuff. Anyway, um, gobsmacked again. How'd I do that? Anyway, moving on. Leading performance, white and one. Uh, choose two letters, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control with name begins with either of the two chosen letters. Eh, whatever. Now you see me. Boy, that's something to see. Uh, one white exile target creature control, then return to the battlefield under its owner's control uh, with X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the number of mirrors on the walls you can see from your seat. That's just silly. Next, we have ride guide. White and four for a four four. Enters the battlefield, you get an attraction. Eh. Next, we have Sanguine's Sipper. Anyway, white and one for a three one. Uh, has life link as long as you control a stickered permanent. I don't know why it makes any sense. Uh, Blufferfish, two blue and four for a three six. Uh, for a blue and three, an opponent tells you a statement about themselves and secretly notes whether it's true or false. You guess which it is. If you guess correctly, Blufferfish is plus two plus zero oh and can't be blocked. That's just dumb. Next we have Bamboozling Beebles. One blue for a one one pro protection from robots. Might be. Uh, relevant in the set. One and tap it next time target player would roll one or more dice this turn. Instead, they roll that many dice plus one and you choose one of those rolls to ignore. Okay. Next, we have bag check. Two blue and one. Counter target spell. Then ask the person outside the game if, they, if that spell looks dangerous to them. If they say yes, draw a card. Then discard a card. That's just silly. Next, we have the tapper. One white for a one, two. Tap an untapped creature you control. That has a hat, tap target creature. Okay. Next we have boiling. Uh, not what you think either. Uh, blue and one instant return target creature to its owner's hand, then roll a dice. If you roll this three or less, scry a number of cards equal to that result. It's okay. That's pretty good. We have the Crow Kid Amphibionaut. Wow, what a name. Blue and four for a four or three. Uh, has flying as long as you control a sticker permanent. Eh. Decisions, decisions, blue and three source, reveal top three cards of your library and choose a consonant, Y counts. Put each card that has a chosen letter in the first word of its name from among them into your hand, the rest on the bottom in random order. Eh. We have focused, whatever, blue and one for two, one with flash, uh, enters the battlefield, put an art sticker on an empty side of the balancing pole. Uh, when you do, ask a person outside the game, does this look balanced? If they say yes, you may tap or untap target creature. Whatever. Next we have Seasoned Buttoneer. 
blue and two for a two two and here's a baffled open attraction because everybody wants to just touch buttons prize wall blue and one for an 04 has defender for blue and tap you get a ticket for a blue and four you may put a sticker on another permanent control sorcery only next we have motion sickness blue and three enchant creature uh, you get to tap a creature when it enters the battlefield enchant creature doesn't untap whenever you visit an attraction you may attach motion sickness to target tap creature all right next we have glitter flitter um okay blue and two for a two two flyer enters the battlefield to get a ticket uh, you may put a sticker on non permanent you own. Eh. The Super Duper Lost. Oh, that's Fibble Fib. Uh, blue and four, put target creature you own. Put target creature into owner's library just beneath the top X cards where X is the number of doors you can see from your seat. Good old Fibble Fib out there having fun and stuff. All right, unlawful entry. Blue and one, target creature plus one plus oh, gains flying within the turn. Whenever you put an art sticker on a creature, you may return unlawful entry from graveyard to your hand. We have the Deadbeat Attendant, blue, uh, black and one for a 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield, you get an attraction. Eh. We have Disemvowel, two black and three. Destroy target creature. That creature's controller loses one life for each unique vowel in that creature's name. Eh. Removal spell at least. Questionable Cuisine, black and three. Uh, return up to two target creature cards from your your hand to create a food token for each trash can you can see from your seat. Okay. Next we have Line Cutter, black and three for a three four. When it enters the battlefield, roll to visit an attraction. God, line cutters. Gotta hate them. Down for repairs, black and three. Sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose an online card from that player, discards that card, destroy up to one target attraction that player controls. Yeah, it's probably something valid in this format. Dissatisfied customer, black and two for two. One has flying and haste and apparently run away. Uh, when a satisfied customer enters the battlefield, roll six side dice. If the result is three or less, you lose that much life. Ooh. Next we have Rat in a Hat. Uh, one and two, sacrifice a rat in a hat. Until the end of turn, you may cast target creature card that has a hat from your graveyard. That's actually not bad. Scared Stiff. Blue and, or blue. Black and two for a three two. Has menace as long as you have a sticker permanent. Eh. Scooch. Black and one instant. Uh, add or subtract one from target creature's power, target player's life total, or target die roll, draw a card. That actually might be useful in this set. Next we have six-sided die. Get die. Anyway, black and two for an instant. Choose target creature, then roll six-sided dice. Base power is one to the end of turn. Put two minus one minus one counters on it. Uh, six-sided die deals three damage to it, and you gain three life. That's not bad. It gets minus four, minus four. Destroy it. Exile it. Hmm. All right. Next, we have Xeno Squirrels. Oh, Lord. Alien Squirrels. God, love it. Black and one for zero, zero. Enters the battlefield two, plus one, plus one counters on it. After you roll a die, you may remove a plus one, plus one counter from the squirrels. If you do, increase or decrease the result by one. Well, that's not as cool as I thought it would be. We have Wolf in Blank Clothing. Uh, black and three for a two, three. Uh, when creature enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it. When you do, up to X tart creatures each get minus one, minus one to enter turn where X is the number of unique vowels in the sticker. Eh. Next we have Step Right Up. So black and three sorcery open two attractions. Eh. We have Soul Swindler, black and four for a five three. As long as you've visited an attraction this turn, Soul Swindler is indestructible. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you get to open an, distraction, an attraction. That actually might be pretty good for a common. Anyway, uh, Outer Wolf's Advantage, whatever that means. Black and red, or sorry, red and two. Creatures you control get plus two, plus oh, gain alpha strike to the end of turn. Eh, it's a sorcery. Amped up, red and five. This spell costs one less to cast for each electrical socket in a wall or floor you can see from your seat. Gain control of target creature to the end of turn. Untap that creature uh, until the end of turn. It gets plus three, plus oh, in haste. Eh. You have Art Appreciation, black, or I'm sorry, Red and one. Why do I keep saying black? Red and one. Put an art sticker on a non-land permanent you own. Then ask the person outside the game to rate the new art on a scale from one to five, where five is the best. When they rate the art, up to that many target creatures can't block this turn. Eh. Next we have red and three, five, two. It's a big winner. I mean winner. A uh, big winner has trample as long as you control the sticker permanent. And also dies as soon as it swings. But anyway. Next we have Minotaur D Force. Uh, red and one for a two one with haste. Uh, enters the battlefield, you get a ticket and you can put a sticker on something. 
Blank Goblin, red and two for a 2-2. Two -two. When this creature enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it. Add one red for each vial in that sticker. Next, you have Electrocute. Red and one. It deals one da it deals two damage to any target. You may cast it from your graveyard as long as you've rolled a six this turn. If it's cast this way, it would be put into the graveyard. Exile it instead. That's not terrible. All right, Circus Act. Uh, red and two. Roll three six-sided dice for each... Each different result creating a 1-1 one, one clown. Okay. One clown band. Red and one for a 1-3. One, red and two. This uh, target robot gets plus two plus O. Oh. Eh. Non-human cannonball. Red and two for a 4-3. Not terrible. When it dies, roll a six-sided die. If the roll is four or less, non-human cannonball deals that much damage to you. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we have the Rad Rascal, red and three for a 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, you get an attraction. Eh. Slight Malfunction, red and one. You get to choose one. Destroy an artifact or roll a six-sided die. When you do, it deals one damage to each of up to X tart creatures where X is the result. Eh, it's a shatter. Everybody needs one. Uh, a top Atom Wheel Acrobats, green and three for a 3-2. Three, Whenever you roll a one or two, put that many plus one plus one counters on this on this card. For three mana, roll a dice. Eh, not terrible. Alpha Guard, green and one for a one-two. Uh, you get to choose a letter. Untap another permanent whose name starts with a chosen letter. That's like a really bad elf. Anyway, well done. Uh, two red and two. It deals five damage to our creature. If that creature is a rare or a mythic, it deals three damage to that creature's controller. All right, good removal. It's just funny after effect. The Wii Champion, one red for an O-1. Whenever you place a sticker, Wii Champion gets plus one, plus one to end of turn. If it's an art sticker, instead put a plus one, plus one counter on the Wii Champion. Meh. We have Blorbrillion Buddy. La la, what a name. One green for a 1-1 one, one Trampler. For one green tapping it, you get a ticket. Okay. Whatever, I guess. Uh, you have a Chicken Trope. Green and one for a 2-2. Two, two. Ward 2. And here's a battlefield. You get a ticket, and then you can put a sticker on something. Next, you have Coming Attraction, green and two. Search your library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, and get an attraction. That's pretty decent mana fixing. Uh, whatever that thing is, for one green, until the end of the turn, target non brushwag creature. Gets plus one, plus one for each subtype card, card type and subtype it has. If this is legal in eternal formats, this is going to be a really bad thing. But anyway, moving on. Next, we have Mistakes Were Made. One green and one. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Create a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token for each fire extinguisher you can see from your... See? What the... Okay, whatever. Next, we have a incident has occurred. Green and one. Choose one or both. Destroy target creature with flying. Destroy an attraction. Uh, you may apologize if you do gain through life. All right. Grabby Tabby. Green and three for a 4-3. Has vision as long as you control the sticker permanent. Eh. Finishing move. Green and two. Get two tickets, and you may put a sticker on something. Target creature control deals combat damage to its power to something you don't control. All right, very interesting fight. The Blank Osaurus. Two green and four for a 3-3 three, three trample. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you put a name sticker on it, put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each unique vowel on that sticker. This could be very ugly. Moving on, we have the Petting Zookeeper. Green and two for an 0-4 with reach. It enters the battlefield to open attraction. That's okay, whatever. Uh, plot armor, green and two, enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and can't be blocked except by creatures with flavor text. Interesting. Funny. We have the slit strider, green, two green and three for a five, four of reach. Get two tickets and you can put a sticker on something when it comes in. Draconian gatebot, five cutlass for a four or two. When it enters the battlefield, you can choose one, open an attraction, or destroy one. Nice. You have the autograph book. Two cutlass when it enters the battlefield. Uh, with a page counter on it for each person who has signed it. Okay. Uh, three colorless tap. Remove a page counter from autograph book. Draw a card. That is very interesting. Thank God it's not legal. Uh, Crafter of Clowns. Red, white, and one for a 3-2 with haste. Robots get plus one, plus one. It's like, oh my God. It's a robot. Um, robot Lord. <laughs> For white and red, you can tap it. Tell a joke you haven't told this game to someone outside the game. Create one one white clown artifact creature token. If that person laughs, the token gains haste. Eh. Vegetation, vegetation abomination. Oh my god. Is that a carrot? Um, green and two for a 2-2 two -two with death touch. 
Tap, sacrifice, vegetation, abomination. Roll six-sided dice. You gain life equal to the result. Why would you do that? Anyway, moving on. Oh, it's a food token. I get it. Uh, park map, one colorless. You may sacrifice the map. Search your library for a land card. It doesn't have the same art as a permanent you control. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Yeah. We have ticket turbo tubes. Uh, three colorless, uh, one man of any color. That's pretty cool. And get a ticket by three and tapping it. Uh, whatever. Ticket. Ticket automation. Three colorless for a two two. When ears of battle, get a ticket. Put a sticker on something. Eh. Swinging ship. So this attraction's rare for a two or a six. If you visit it after your first combat phase this turn, there's an additional combat phase at the beginning of that combat phase. Untap all creatures that attack this turn. That is disgusting. Moving on. All right, we have a bounce chamber, which is an attraction up here. Uh, for a four and a six, return to our creature you, you don't control with the lowest toughness among creatures you don't control to their owner's hand. <sighs> That's a long way to say that. And then we have tons of stickers and stuff. We have the unstable robot dragon, the elemental time flamingo, <laughs> unglued pea brain dinosaur, the trained blessed mind, the vampire champion fury, the weird angel flame, and the squishy sphinx ninja. Hmm, squishy sphinx ninja, funny. Feel free to take a look at these if you want. I'm not real big on this kind of stuff, so we'll just keep going. Next, we're going to have another eight, which is the Assuming Gelatin Serpent, Yawgmoth's Merfolk Soul, the Sassy Gremlin Blood, Primal Elder Kitty, Snazzy Aether Homunculus, the Space Fungus Snickerdoodle. <laughs> I love Snickerdoodles. The Wrinkly Monkey Shenanigans. That sounds like... I ain't going to say what that sounds like. Anyway, and the Greek Lotus Warrior. Again, feel free to pause and take a look at all these shenanigans if you wish. I'm not going to go through all these junk. Again, here's some more. The Giant Mana Cake, Ancestral Hot Dog Minotaur. <laughs> That's a good one. Cursed Fire Breathing Yogurt, Demonic Tourist Laser, the Narrow-Minded Baloney Fireworks. That sounds like a porno. Anyway, Sticky Kavu Daredevil, Goblin Coward Parade, and the Eternal Acrobat Toast. Again, feel free to pause if you wish to read what these silly things do. As we continue... We have the last of them, the Mystic Doom Sandwich. That sounds like something from a DD and d game I was in. Uh, the Spooky Clown Mox, the Slimy Burrito Illusion. Ugh. I think I've seen that once when I was tripping. Anyway, the Happy Dread Squirrel. Yeah, that's kind of cool. The Carnival Elephant Meteor. I'm not even sure that makes sense. And the Vampire Cheese Magician. Zombie Cheese Magician. Sorry, Zombie Cheese Magician. Again, feel free to pause and take a look at all this silly stuff. It's pretty much these cards have... All the different types of keywords on uh, all magic cards ever made for a price of tickets. So there's that. And it looks like that's going to be it, guys. We finally got past Infinity. Um, I'm going to do a review later about what I really think of the set after we kind of let it uh, settle in a little bit. And I get some time uh, toward the end of the week to actually sit and look at the cards uh, a little more in detail and take some serious consideration. But if I was going to give you a summary, I don't see a whole lot of stuff going on here other than land. But hey, that's what Infinity always is, right? So don't forget, guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comments down below. It's going to feed the YouTube algorithm. Please sub up. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and I'm starting to slow down. Hell, if you've done all that, thank you very much. Thanks for coming back. If you want to help, uh, and you've already subbed up. Links in the description to the eBay store or Patreon, my email. Stay tuned for more cooler videos now that Infinity's done. <sighs> and as always, till next time, be kind, and I hope to see you across from the game table.